Welcome back. I am so excited to be joined by Matthew Gray Goobler. You know him as Dr. Spencer Reed on Criminal Minds, and now he has a new children's book, and if you could rise and join me, Rumpel Buttercup, a story of bananas, belonging, and being yourself. Uh, Rumpel Buttercup, I can't believe you came on the show today. I have some really bad news, Isaac. Oh, what's the bad news? Matthew could not be here today. Oh, he couldn't make it? No, he's stuck in a subway. <laughs> but he sent me. <laughs> do, you nice. take, do you take, oh, let's hug. Do you take cars? You're not a subway guy? I only take the subway. Hey, hey April Fool's! Oh, you did I'm it. Here. It's you really got me. it. What's up, man? I'm fucking gonna pass out. This uh, is uh, beautiful. Uh, did you make that yourself? You know, I designed it myself. A magical elf named Linda helped to realize the functionality of uh -huh, it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But this is its maiden voyage. It's and you're the first to, you're the first to meet seven foot tall Rumpel. We're I'm very, we're very happy. <sighs> uh really appreciate it. Tell me a little bit about this character. Um, well. He lives underground okay. in a sewer. Uh -huh. That's why he takes the subway a lot. <laughs> and he, uh, you know, he feels a little bit weird. He kind of hides out from the above ground. He's a best friend made of trash named Candy Corn Carl. Oh, and together they go some on, on some adventures and uh -huh. sort of learn the magic of uh, being themselves. Of being themselves yeah. and, and maybe taking a little bit of pride. This is obviously a stretch from uh, Criminal Mind, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like you, you profile murderers. Sort yeah. of the polar opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What made you want to write a children's book, an illustrated children's book? You know, it's funny, I, I guess, I didn't. I never thought of it as a kid's book. I basically just wrote a book that I wanted to read, and it ended up being this <laughs> this book. But I've been, I, you know, I like to draw and and paint and make things, and I've always kind of been working on on various books, and uh, it just sort of came together, coalesced in the recent years, and so you and you've been. Have you always been illustrating? You've been drawing since you were a kid. Since I was a little kid, yes. And then, sort of, ten or fifteen years ago, I sort of started doing it more serious. Not serious. Yeah. Not, I, the, the hope is to never take yourself seriously, as you can tell <laughs> by wearing a giant <laughs> set of pajamas. But yeah, we're kind of for a while. I love it. Yeah, now, I, people, you posted it on Instagram. I just want to bring it up real quick. Okay. Some fans who've gotten tattoos of Rumpel. Oh my which god! Is yeah, incredible. Yeah, right? isn't that amazing? I hope they like the book because it, it's. It hasn't come, it comes out tomorrow, but I, I think they will. And they already yeah. got tattoos. So I gotta ask, um, you, that's not the first tattoos of your drawings, right? People kind of get they, your drawings you're, you're tattooed right. a lot. Yeah, yeah, they do actually. I'm very honored and it's like the greatest compliment I could receive to have someone want me around permanently. Most people try to get me out of a room within three minutes of hearing me talk. <laughs> so the fact that people are willing to, to, to put me on their arm or their, their back for life is, is very touching. It's very touching. Yeah. But you, again, you are doing so much. You also definitely and magic? I do do some magic. Yeah, that's actually how I, that was my first profession. I grew up in Las Vegas and I was like a childhood magician and I would rent, uh, I would like do, I would hire myself out and do like bar mitzvahs and stuff. Uh -huh. And uh, not very popular. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, yeah, of, did you not, also yeah. have a trash friend? No, I had a lot of imaginary <laughs> friends. I had, exactly. There's, there's a lot of similarities between me and Rumpel. But uh, yeah. <laughs> And now we're here today with you on AIM? Yeah, yeah I, I, I am also a trash person. Oh, okay. So you're just making another trash person. Did you have an imaginary friend, friend growing up? Uh, I did not have any imaginary friends yeah. growing up. But uh, like I said, there is a lot of trash going on. Okay. I do want to ask I do want to <laughs> ask you this. Do you have a go-to trick? Do you still do it? I, I do still do it. I, I do. Yeah, you know, it's tough with these hands. I don't have a go-to <laughs> trick. I, I know. You I don't have to I, know. I, I wish I, I thought I, I can do a sword through a neck pretty easily. Really? But we need a sword. Who's got yeah, a... Let's not... Anyone have a sword? No, we and don't also need... also, I need a no, willing volunteer. We don't need that. We don't need that. But you... So you can still do it. You've still I got still it. Oh, you yeah, still yeah, got yeah. it. Yeah, I love it. You know, yeah. That's incredible. Also, season 14. Oh, yeah. All right. What is it like to play a character for that long? You know, it's... I feel so lucky that it's crazy to get to, like... I, it's hard to explain because I, I I never really studied acting, so I don't I. It, it's it's a great yeah to play a character for that long. He becomes sort of part of you, and you luckily get to become part of him. And I really admire the character that I get to play, and I'm just honored to get to do it. That's incredible. So you you didn't study acting. It was more of a magic illustrating, hanging out by yourself. I actually I, I went to film school, and uh -huh. I, I I love directing, and that was sort of my focus. I learned that to be like the best magic trick of all. From age five to twelve, I was really into magic, and then at twelve, I was like, oh my gosh, filmmaking is the ultimate magic. You get to create these alternate realities and sort of trick people into believing in magic. Mm -hmm. And so I pursued that pretty full on for 
10 years and then somehow ended up on Criminal Minds. That's incredible. Yeah. And now you are uh, literally a mascot. All right, we do oh. want to play a quick game oh, with I'm you excited. before we let you go, all right? So we have a quiz here at yes. BuzzFeed, and it's from one of our community masterminds, yeah. and it's so brilliant. It's called, Can You Guess the Season of Criminal Minds Based on Spencer <laughs> Reed's Hair? Okay, are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, we're just going oh to be you're gonna be surrounded by your faces. Okay. Here they oh, go. Right, here's the first wait, 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 one. Do I look here? Yeah. Uh, season, I know this season, this is the year I broke my knee dancing. That's season five. Nailed it! Is it right? Yes! Yeah! yeah. Oh my on. gosh. Hang on, how'd you break your knee dancing? I like to go 100% in everything I do. <laughs> and I was at, I was doing a dance competition with, and long story short, I broke my knee. I needed three knee surgeries. I was told I might never walk without a cane. What? But guess what? Look at you. I'm back. Alive and kicking. Alive and kicking. Beautiful. And cool tattoos, man. Thank you very much. Whoa. I'm going to get a rumple. Please do. After no. this. We'll, we'll I'll do, do it, it myself. We can go we'll do it in the back room. Perfect. No problem. Yeah, yeah, I, got yeah. a, I got a homemade kit. No. <laughs> Okay. All right, here's number two. You ready? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's tough. Okay. The one thing I know about this is I'm very pensive in that photo. <laughs> that tells me that I'm a very serious actor, uh -huh, uh -huh. which means that it is most likely I want to go with season nine. Uh, ten. Season ten. Ten. Season ten. Ten. You're so close. You're so close. Jennifer Love Hewitt was in that year, though, I remember. Because she, if you could cut wider, you would see her right here. Okay. okay. She's taller than that. Okay. She's right there. Yeah. I like you. You do look very pensive. All right, next very one. Pensive. Here we go. Here we go. Dang it. Oh, boy. Smelled something real bad in that shot. <laughs> But as you can see, I'm sitting right by a garbage can. I'm going to go with, let's see. You know, I can tell the seasons. I always I always do like a weird indie film during every hiatus from Criminal Minds. Okay. So my haircuts are typically dictated by what film I'm doing that summer. Uh -huh. This was right after, I think, a film called 68. Let me think. That's season seven. That's season seven? Oh, really? Yes, my man. That's crazy. You're really good. I just didn't really get that. Uh, you did, no. I, we wouldn't lie to you. Yeah, all right? I'm not an April Fool's guy. I'm not, okay. li I'm not lying. I'm not lying. All right, next one. And seriously, you've gotten so many haircuts, hey, too. Thanks. Oh, this is the best. Um, that was when Steve Buscemi was on our show for a short period of time. Uh, I'm joking. That's me. Um, <laughs> that, I look like an earthworm with hair. I look like <laughs> you, basically... You mean way too hard oh, yeah. on yourself. You no, look very handsome I'm very, in this thank, photo. No, thank you. That was... Uh, see, I wanted the character to develop. Part of the honors... I was a little nervous when you asked me this question earlier. I really got... Can we start the interview over? Right? Yeah, yeah, no it's problem. Live, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Action! <laughs> I was... I, I wanted... The beauty of playing a character for so long is you get to... In TV, you often get to see characters develop. Mm -hmm. And to be able to take them from uh, an earthworm with hair mm -hmm. to a green guy on the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, but that was season two. That was season yeah, two. Yeah. Nailed it. Uh, I have your glasses too, by the way. Last one. Yeah. I was gonna say that's why. I'm, that's probably why I thought you were looking so handsome. Hey, it's, I'm just like saying glasses. Great on you, man. All right, last one. You yes. ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Whew. Dreamboat. I don't Dreamboat. know about that. I don't know. Let me think. That would be um, season six. Are you Nailed it. Me? Nailed it. Come on. on. Give it up. That's crazy. Give it up. Clap it up. Does that mean I'm incredibly vain? No. My I should not have been that good at that No, test. but you got I you yeah. got one wrong. And okay, I knew yeah. I know you, I know yes. you threw it. You so, threw yeah. it so you didn't look so I vain. I threw it. I don't want to look vain. I don't yeah, thank you. Congratulations on the book. Give I'm so hug, excited. Man. Give me a hug. Thank you for Give having us. Me. Can I, can I, like, I want to try I, that of on Of course you can. It's going to be hard with your glasses, but No, yeah. we're going to do it. Yeah. Matthew, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you Get your copy me. of Rumble Buttercup up now. I'm, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. He's sitting down with one of the co-founders of Very Smart Brothers. Put it on. Put it on. Here it goes. Here we go. Here it goes. I hope you like lice. Oh, I have lice. Nice. Oh, I feel really good. Hey, you look good. I can be into this. Yeah, I'm into this.